I'm Marjorie Post and um, I'm a member of the uh, Fiber Arts Guild and have been for about 12, 13 years. Um, I have done all kinds of different fiber uh, artwork and um, I have heard about the mentor program and was really interested in participating because I, I love teaching and I love teaching a craft that I am enthused about and I wanted to actually meet someone who was interested in learning to the point that we could uh, do some work together. I do a lot of different things and um, my business is actually uh, centered around quilting. I have um, a line of landscape quilts that I show in shows and teach. I just have a lot of different areas that I am proficient in. I did uh, for 10 years uh, colored pencil art and then I used the colored pencil images that I had created to, for inspiration to do my quilts. Um, so it's one thing kind of leads to another. I am Shannon Delahanty and I'm a mentee of Marjorie and I am learning knitting and crocheting. So we just started out learning basic knitting and how to transition with colors, different patterns, so we made some swatches of uh, sort of what sort of textures you can create with yarn and talked about sort of the mechanical element of how to read patterns, how to read like different, what yarns require are required for different patterns and kind of like what you can create um, with different weights. Even just appeasing my like want and desire to work with fibers is enough and so just having someone that I can like reach out to is amazing. Well, I think it's a shame that they had started to uh, die out because people weren't doing them and they weren't teaching each other. And I think that mothers often teach daughters uh, and grandmothers often teach uh, granddaughters. And those things weren't happening very much. We just sit on that porch upstairs and watch the hummingbirds come to the <laughs> empty hummingbird feeder and <laughs> chat about flowers and, you know, what we're doing, where we came from. And yeah, it's just nice to work with somebody, you know. Well, it is, and that's why I enjoy having Shannon come so much because, yes, I know how to do most everything, but I love to show someone else how to do it, and then we can work together and we just enjoy the compatibility of uh, setting and knitting and we don't, you know, have to be talking every moment. Mm -hmm. Well, my name is Maria Paris, and I'm a fiber artist that does primarily work in felting, but I also sew and make garments. I'm a member of the Columbia Fiber Arts Guild, and I've been a member since 2001. I was past president of the guild, and um, I am a mentor through the Common Threads program, and had I've had students come and learn to do some felting and have, it's been a great experience. I think it's a magnificent idea to have this project going on. Um, I've been doing fiber art or some kind of work with fiber since I was a, a very small child. My mother loved to sew, my grandmother was a knitter, they crocheted, they did needlework. And I made doll clothes while my mother sewed things. Well, the reason I, I put my name in to be a mentor is because I, I have been a teacher. 
and I enjoy working with uh, people who are trying to learn things. I like to teach classes. I've taught other classes to adults, and I think the, the program, the idea that, that you're working with fiber and learning how to, to do something with a basic material like fabric and thread and, and wool is very exciting because that's something that was just a regular everyday thing and I think it's less and less of something that that younger people are learning today I think I'm I may be wrong but I know they've taken a lot of those kinds of programs out of public schools I think it's very enriching to learn traditional crafts that are perhaps put it to the side because we have machines now that make everything for us. And I, I feel like there isn't that same sense of um, how important having fiber is. You are sitting with somebody or standing with somebody and you're working with fiber and you're talking and you're feeling something. It sort of brings you down to the roots of existence in a way. We are a technological age now and I think we're getting away from all that sort of touchy-feely stuff which I think is what fiber is all about because it's soft or rough or you know it's all those kinds of things at least that's how I feel about it.